Yeah, we're set and uh, we can start whenever we're ready. My name is Thomas Jones. I hope you remember this story next time you take a drink of water. I am from Sierra Leone. I was born here, raised here, and educated here. I travel frequently for my job as a regional wash program manager at Go. When I visited the community called Bevehon, I saw that the old source of water was a swampy river. It was some of the worst water I have ever seen. The surface was brackish and boozy with flies. I did not want to know what was underneath. To be honest with you, I could not believe that people were drinking from it. I even asked the chief, are you sure? Is this your only sauce? The chief knelt down and drank it in front of me. I will not forget that particular moment. It was my reaction that made the chief realize that the water was unsafe. And even with the knowledge that the water was making them sick, they had no option. The Swampy River was the only water they could reach. Even if we could help Bevaon, they would have to return back to the river until a point was built. And that could take time, more on that in a moment. In Sierra Leone, there is a dramatic difference between a community that has clean water and a community that does not. Water is clear and water is contaminated. Laundry is simple and laundry is a tiring chore. Laughter comes easy, whilst worrying is a heavy burden. But most drastic is the difference in health. Let me introduce you to another community, one that got clean water three years ago. I was here when they drill, and I've watched it change. Before, the people complained of rash and diarrhea. They spent precious time and money on medicine and clinic visits. Then, clean water come. Over the following days and weeks, health slowly improved. The parents worry less, kids can study more, everyone is energized and happy. Time has passed since the day I stood on the bank of the river with the Vaughan chief. Charity Water has since asked you to donate. Gold has worked tirelessly to bring clean water to the people across Sarabi. The community of Bevahun had to clear a jungle, construct a road that's capable of withstanding the weight of a drilling rig. People have been waiting for the clean water they deserve. But today, the drilling rig arrived. There will be dancing, singing. And most of all, the relief. Soon, Bevahun will wield a future full of hope ahead. This is only one story. There are many more. So I ask you, the next time you take a drink of water, think of Bevahun, because today they are drinking clean water. And it is thanks to people like you and like me.